Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're still looking for food options of shelf-stable foods that are simple to store, keep your pantry full, maybe even put in your bug out bag, I've been trying the Hormel Completes. They are already prepared complete meals. They're shelf-stable. You don't have to put them in the refrigerator or the freezer. They're ready to go just the way they are. You heat them in the microwave for 60 seconds, but in an emergency situation, it's already ready to eat. You could peel it open and eat it and have some way to nourish yourself, get a meal, and keep going in an emergency situation. It's turkey and dressing, oven roasted white turkey with traditional dressing and rich turkey sauce. I like that the completes have 20 grams of protein. Protein is important and you may not always find that in processed foods. A lot of the foods that we store in stockpile that are open and eat may not have anywhere near that amount. It's a nutritional fact worth comparing. Check the back for the nutrition facts. You can see that it has 290 calories. Processed foods always have a lot of sodium, so be aware of the sodium content. It has 990 milligrams of sodium. Check out the ingredients. The first one is turkey, which is nice because on the chicken and dressing, the first ingredient was chicken broth and the second ingredient was chicken. Always check a best buy or use by date. These have a shelf life of about two years. Remove the outer packaging and then peel back or pierce the plastic wrap. The plastic wrap is thick, the bowl is sturdy, and this is really hard to peel back. So I'm not going to worry that this isn't staying fresh in the package. Now put it in the microwave for 60 seconds and then wait one more minute for it to cool before you eat it. There's a slice of turkey and another slice of turkey underneath. So there's two reasonably large slices of turkey. That's quite a bit of meat in this little bowl. Lots of gravy. And the dressing. Probably the best way to eat it is to just cut it up, which is nice. The meat is tender, so it's easy to just cut it with your fork which is going to make this easy to eat out of its little container. It actually smells quite good. You can see there's some large chunks of celery in the dressing. Now I'd have it all mixed up. The true test is how it tastes. Let's take a bite. It's actually quite good. It's never going to be as good as your home cooked meal but for only a few dollars, heated in the microwave for 60 seconds, you have a meal that can fill you up. Store it with something like a package of instant mashed potatoes, a can of green beans, and you could make this a more complete meal. And you could probably even stretch it out to serve two people in an emergency situation. A strategy for food storage is go through the store, look at the shelf stable meals. Things like this that you can put on your shelf in your pantry and they'll keep for about two years. Then when you're in a hurry or in an emergency, you have a quick meal that you can grab and go. These would be good to stockpile in your pantry or in your bug out bag. What I did is go to the store, choose a few different items and flavors that I thought sounded good and I bought one to bring home and test and see if I actually liked it. Then if I find that I like it, I go back and stock up on more. But make sure you don't buy more than you could use before their expiration date. Be ready to rotate these, so don't stockpile foods you're not willing to eat. If you don't like it and you don't want to eat it again, don't buy it more. This one I would eat again, so I'm going to get a few more. Make sure you're stockpiling the food and supplies that you need so your family will have what you need. Food is readily available now and we don't know that it always will be or that we'll have the time to prepare something from scratch. So a few food items that are stuck away in the pantry in your emergency gear can really do a lot to give you peace of mind knowing that you'll have the things you need in any situation. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.